If there's one thing certain about being a righteous defender of Super Earth, it's that there exists no greater joy than the act of incinerating the hearts of your enemies. And for this purpose, you need a specific tool that's both scorching hot and pinpoint accurate. Think Liberty then, because the Plaz One Scorcher has answered the call. Plaz One Scorcher fires bolts of superheated gas which explode on impact, damaging any foes within a small radius. It boasts a DPR of 1500 and DPS of 416. While at first glance it may not seem especially useful, it's another weapon similar to the Slugger that has some unique hidden characteristics. Once again we have an interesting situation where the weapon stats screen indicates it is only good for penetrating light armor. This is confusing, as the Scorcher, much like the Slugger, penetrates different levels of armor depending on the enemy. For instance, the Slugger is able to easily penetrate the medium armor of Bile Spewers, while the Scorcher's shots deflect, even though they still cause damage. Also, the Scorcher can take down Automaton Walkers head-on with just a couple shots, whilst the Slugger cannot penetrate their armor at all. So, we have a situation where the Slugger penetrates armor, the Scorcher is less effective penetrating. But also, the Scorcher is penetrating armor, the Slugger just straight up can't. As I spoke about in my recent vid on the Slugger, there is definitely an invisible armor rating system at play here. Though, in the case of the Scorcher, it might be even more nuanced than that. For instance, when it comes to the Automaton Walkers, are we really penetrating their armor? or is the explosion on impact sort of bleeding its damage through to the operating bot? Whether working as intended or a bug, this is most interesting. Similarly, while the slugger penetrates the armor on the heads of armored spewers, the scorcher gets a deflect visual cue. This doesn't mean no damage is being done, just far less than if it were penetrating directly through. The slugger can headshot an armored spewer in just two hits, while the Scorcher often takes at least 6 to 8 shots or more. I find this deferring armor penetration between the two weapons perplexing, but nevertheless, let's move on. As you might expect, the Scorcher handles all light infantry with ease, one-shotting all trash bugs including hunters. It two-shot headshots warriors, five-shot headshots both hive guards and light armored spewers, and takes about seven headshots to drop a brood commander. When it comes to chargers, the Scorcher is actually one of the more effective weapons at shredding their backsides. With precise shots, this can usually be done within one full magazine. Once their backside pops, they will eventually bleed out or can be finished off with just a few more shots. When it comes to clearing waves, the Scorcher benefits from a small AoE damage pool generated by its plasma exploding shots. This often proves beneficial against the trash bugs, as simply shooting the ground near them is usually enough to finish them off. It can, however, also be a problem for the user, as you're very likely to one-off yourself with the AoE damage if you get overwhelmed or simply forget where you're aiming. This unfortunately happens all too often with the bugs, as you simply can't avoid swarming hunters jumping straight into your face. Mixed with a charging brood commander, it's fun times. Just remember to pull out your secondary, or pray to Super Earth, because the Scorcher isn't helping you here. Another way in which the Scorcher may or may not frustrate you is with its middling ammo capacity. Just 15 shots per reload and only 6 mags on hand means you're going to hear an awful lot of this. Mags empty! Mags empty! Mags empty! Mags empty! Mags empty! And if you know anything by now, you know the bugs are adamant about draining all your ammo with swarm after swarm and breach after breach. 
for these occasions, I like to bring along a supply pack to ensure I always have enough burning hot democracy to dish out whenever needed. Speaking of hot democracy, if you enjoy these weapon reviews, consider subscribing. There's more of these on the way and I'd hate for you to miss out. That being said, you should also know this isn't a Helldivers only channel. Still, I'm simply having way too much fun spreading managed democracy to slow down anytime soon. Also, it's worth noting that only 1% of you that watch these videos are actually subscribed. So let's change that, shall we? It'd be my honor to have you along for the ride. Speaking of spreading democracy, it is my opinion that the Scorcher excels at spreading the automatons in particular. Yes, spreading. Chiefly, its ability to one-shot all raiders, and three-shot headshot the berserkers. Though that is easier said than done, considering their erratic movement, focusing your shots on their body instead of limbs often takes them down with relative ease. Even the ever-hated shielded heavy devastators those guys that make you soil your democracy pants before you get a chance to swap to your railgun. Yeah, those guys. The Scorcher laughs at their puny shields, penetrating or destroying it in just a few shots. Try that with your breaker, bucko. As previously mentioned, the Scorcher is also currently the only primary capable of punching through the automaton walkers with just two shots, allowing you to save your railgun or autocannon for heavier work. Speaking of which, hulks can drop with relative ease if you place a few accurate shots to their back vents. Just make sure you're quick and precise before they turn around. Unfortunately, the Scorcher doesn't seem very effective at shooting turrets or AA guns, so instead of wasting all your ammo, just stick to your grenades or stratagems here. A fun side note, however, the Scorcher takes down spore spewers in as little as five shots, so that's a fun little nugget to know. So, we've established that the Scorcher is an ideal weapon for bots, easily dispatching most units with a few well-placed shots at most. And while it certainly doesn't skimp against the bugs, its propensity to damage the user or simply run dry due to constant waves is worth considering. If you're determined to extinguish hives, I'd suggest bringing along a machine gun stratagem to help clear the little stuff. Pair that with a supply pack, and you've got ammo and versatility for days. Also, the Scorcher is a surprisingly effective egg killer, as just a single shot often destroys multiple in the vicinity thanks to the plasma AoE. So, while I do primarily recommend the Scorcher for bots, it's certainly no slouch in capable hands when dealing with the bug hordes. Alright, so let's bring it home. The Scorcher isn't going to be for everyone. Its limited ammo capacity is likely to dissuade some, and its propensity to deal self-harm in stressful situations will likely turn off those who panic at the drive through Still, if you understand its mechanics and strengths, it's easily one of the more versatile and powerful weapons in the game. The stopping power and penetration alone easily make it a top five choice overall, but throw in the explosive AOE and you've got the makings of a true contender. Capacity misgivings aside, the Scorcher is dependable, explosive, and a ton of fun to use. It's the DMR that the DMRs should have been. So with that, the Scorcher gets a liberty-loving stamp of approval. Scorch the enemy, soldier. Make Super Earth proud.